Considering how many thousands of years the Australian Aborigines have been around, it seems films that tell real stories about our Indigenous Australians are few and far between. Then there's 2010's Mad Bastards. Hey, look at them Mad Bastards. It's the first feature for director, producer and writer Brendan Fletcher. His approach to filmmaking is unique in that he interviewed the cast of non-actors first and then weaved their real-life stories into the script. The end result is like method acting, except these actors don't need to act. They're actually reliving their own stories, making Mad Bastards a one-of-a-kind film experience that couldn't be more real if it tried. So real that if you were to Google a film, you would find the story keeps going after the camera's finished rolling. TJ is a mad bastard. In other words... I've been sort of smoking ganja and drinking and running a mic in it. TJ's son, Bullet, is in trouble for starting a fire. The local Aboriginal community tries to work out how to keep his 13-year-old out of prison. But what's that camp going to be like? Two weeks out there. Better than six months in jail. Meanwhile, TJ arrives to meet his son for the first time. 13 years late. He's not here. Mad Bastards tackles many issues. I always wanted to flog a copper. Some negative, like high rates of incarceration and alcoholism. Why do you think your son is running around at night like a madman? Others are more positive. For example, self-determination within Aboriginal communities. You've been walking around, that's why you're here, you know? The harshness of life is set against the beauty of the remote Kimberley region, making this one dynamic film. Australia considers itself the land of a fair go. Yet controversial films like Mad Bastards highlight the inequalities Australian Aborigines still face. Many Australians have very strong views about these inequalities without any real first-hand knowledge of these communities. Given that areas like the Kimberley are so remote, watching a film that's as real as Mad Bastards would be the next best thing to actually going there. I was gonna cut that, you little prick!